क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन्टी सिक्स एब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ वॉटर बाय ड्राई वुड इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इफ देर इज एब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ वॉटर बाय द ड्राई वुड इट इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इम्बाइबिशन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द ड्राई सीड्स अगेन इट विल बी इम्बाइबिशन सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर वन Let's move to the next question. Question number ninety-seven. The bulk movement of substances through the vascular tissues in plants is called. When there is bulk movement of substances through vascular tissues, you have to emphasize on this word that through vascular tissues, then it will be translocation. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. What is transpiration? Transpiration is loss of water in the form of water vapor from the leaves or other parts of the plants. Let's move to the next question. Question number ninety-eight. All of the following are chief sinks for mineral elements and plants, except developing flowers, old leaves, storage organs, or apical meristem. Chief sink are those part of the plants where minerals are required. and the senescing or the older parts they do not require minerals developing flowers of course because they are young they are developing they will need the minerals storage organs definitely apical meristems yes older leaves no so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question question number 99 the factor that does not increase the rate of transpiration is rate of transpiration means a loss of water is increased by high temperature of course high light intensity yes high humidity no because when there is high humidity in the atmosphere then loss of water will be decreased there will be lesser transpiration so it is not correct fourth very low concentration of salts in soil water it will also promote so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 100 most of the water flow in the roots occurs via the apoplast pathway because what is apoplast pathway when water is absorbed by the plants and it moves through the cell walls without crossing the plasma membrane this is called the apoplast movement of the water most of the water flows through the apoplast pathway in the plants why what is the exact reason first option compactly arranged cortical cells do not provide intercellular spaces for water movement it is not correct because cortical cells are not compactly arranged second cell walls of cortical cells are impermeable to water not true cell walls are permeable for water third loosely packed cortical cells offer very little or no resistance to water movement this is absolutely correct fourth one plasma membrane of cortical cells are deposited with pectin that makes the membrane impermeable very wrong so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 but you know that apoplast pathway is limited up to a particular extent how because in the roots you will find the endodermis which has casparian strips and beyond the endodermis there will be symplast pathway only so apoplast is restricted up to the endodermis let's see the next question